What's up guys, it's Iwana Turtle, and today we got another magic opening. We are doing some mail day. We got some stuff uh, that we purchased recently, and we are opening some more Dominaria boosters. So let's see, we have a total of nine booster packs to open, and four pieces of mail. So we'll quickly open up these, get the packs out, and then we'll probably just uh, alternate between opening some packs and opening some mail. So these were obtained quite a little bit ago, actually during, it was during the, the holidays actually when they kind of had a really good deal where everything was basically 50% off. Well, was, everything was buy one, get one free. So I did try to get as much as I could at that time. And it lasted quite a while. Yeah. Blisters are super annoying. All right, here we go. Put these off over here. Make some room and we'll start on the right. So let's see what we got for our first piece of mail. Showing the back side because it does have some addresses on the front. All right, and for the first card, we got a from the Ravnica Allegiance Mythic edition we have a Jaya Ballard so I do like the the mythic planeswalkers the mythic edition planeswalkers and instead of buying the absurdly priced box which now is like at this point is like $300 I'm just gonna slowly acquire them uh, singles and just get them when they're when they're I can find them pretty cheap so Jaya Ballard is actually quite cheap so there we go that is the first, and it comes with the emblem on the back, which is nice. So, that's the first one. And now let's go with three packs of good old Dominaria. Actually, uh, going to obtain some Dominaria booster boxes, so we might be doing... We've always had a soft spot for Dominaria, and that might continue. We got a Nitro Spiral, Sorcerer's Wand, Settle the Score, and our first rare is, oh, first foil, this Broken Bond, pretty cool. And then we got Traxos, Scourge of Krug. That foil caught me off guard, it took me a second to figure out what happened. All right, second pack. We got Fire Fist Adept, Board the Weatherlight, and then Urza's Ruinous Blast. You may cast Legendary Sorcerer only. If you control a Legendary Creature, exile all non-land permits that aren't Legendary. Okay. We got a Elfame Druid, Final Parting, on Sarah's Wings, and then Ezra Halcyon Witness. Alright, nothing good, but so let's open up some mail instead. Let's see what we got. Some of these were actually... Uh, purchased a while ago so and they took a while to arrive so I'm actually not sure what what it is but they say thank you <laughs> how nice and ah okay so this is just two two rares we got a deputy of detention and I think this one is a tight taker oh no electro dominance okay 
So those are actually just two really cheap cards I managed to purchase. And let's keep going. For Dominaria, obviously the biggest hit, ooh, I saw some foliage. Uh, biggest hit that we're looking for is that Tafari. Triumph of Ger Gerard. Spore Crown Thaliad. Oh. And then Lich Knight, and then a Foil Mountain, which is, Foil Land's always very welcome. Alright, we got another Spyro, a Memorial of Glory, which these lands are usually terrible. Whoa, Mox Amber, hello. This one's actually pretty cool. So like, uh, you know, when it comes to the zero cost artifacts to actually do something, they had to really, you know, taper down as far as how effective they are. But this one's still pretty cool. So you add one man of any color uh, that you can use for legendary creatures and planeswalkers. Very nice. Very happy I pulled that. Actually, another uh, in the near future, or at some point in the future, I think we'll do a different mail day where we got something similar, but uh, it's from a from a while ago, and it's quite significantly more powerful. So stay tuned for that. Let's see what we got next. All right, so we did get one mythic, and I feel like that that's pretty good ratio out of even if that's the only one we got for nine packs so everything after this is like pure bonus adamantine wall memorial of unity sorcerer's wand ski the immortal you may cast ski the immortal from your graveyard or from exile a two one for three is uh, a little underwhelming Sometimes those kind of things, a lot of times they're like zombie things that it costs uh, some mana to like return to your hand or something. So this one's a little bit different, just straight up cast it from the grave. And so this is our third Mythic Ajani. Ajani's quite quite cheap, the Jaya was even, even cheaper, but Ajani you can get for a very good price right now. And so there is another Mythic Edition Planeswalker. All right, so we got three more packs and one more. Actually, I, I now, um, since this is the last one, I think I have an idea of what it is, and it is quite an epic, or something I'm really happy with, so I'll leave that one for the end. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's super epic, but compared to the other ones, it's better, let's just say. All right, we got Icy Manipulator, Sorcerer's Wand, then the two-headed giant. I think I have a foil version of this. And even that was not really, <laughs> really that good of a pull. And this pack is just coming, coming apart. All right, let's see. Wizard's retort. For the lightning, settle the score, wild onslaught, and okay, okay, mythic or foil uncommon goblin warchief. Goblin spells you cast cost one less. That's actually not bad. And then, oh, another one of these. Another witness. All right, last pack. And then we got one more piece of mail. Keep demolishing these packs. All right, Eldest Reborn. This card is actually pretty cool uh, when it comes to a kind of like a control build. Uh, obviously, it, it does cost five, so it's not the best, but each opponent sacrifice a creature or planeswalker first, and then each opponent discards a card, and then finally put target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard. So, I mean, you could do that for me. So, if you kind of just slam this down when they have like a very strong planeswalker in a couple turns, you get you get that. But you kind of have to set it up, but imagine if 
your opponent, you, your field is empty and your opponent has a planeswalker, that's quite powerful. So we did get a Siege Gang Commander and then, oh, another foil and Crozen Druid. All right, so before we open up this last piece of mail, to recap the opening, I would say the definitely by far the best the best pull would be this Mox Amber, and really happy with this. Uh, definitely one of the cards. I don't I don't think it's like that great of a card, but it was one. When it comes to like to the Moxes, I just love them. All right, so let's see what this one is. Hard to open. And we got see it yet. Uh, this additional so our last card is a cavern of souls from ultimate masters cavern of souls i think it might have came out in avacyn i'm pretty sure it wasn't in Strahd, but it was about that time uh and this card is always good i don't think i ever pulled one uh and then so on the reprint it's just pretty cool so essentially this land taps for one however when you do play the card you choose a type and if you tap for that type of creature it can't be countered which is very powerful so um just to recap our mail day so we did get two just regular rares from the most recent set. We got a Jaya Ballard from Mythic Edition, a Johnny from the Mythic Edition again, and a Cavernor Souls from Ultimate Masters. So, um, thanks for watching guys. If you do like these kind of like random mail day things, let me know, um, hit that like button, um, and let me know, actually let me know in the comments and then I kind of know to continue or if you prefer just seeing more pack openings um, instead, uh, just, yeah, let me know. And on that, thank you guys very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.